everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you had a real good uh, Christmas celebration with your loved ones and now we are entering into the new year 2021. So before I get into today's video, I really want to know how many of you uh, keep these new year resolutions. If you do, please comment below. And um, do you stick to your new year resolutions or it all just goes down? And how many of you have thought of uh, seriously considering health, fitness and improving your lifestyle and overall health in the coming year. Well, if you have, but you don't know where to start, how to make the change, then please keep watching because this video is exactly for you and I'm going to tell you from where you should start to make that change. Now, the heart of every home is the kitchen because a healthy kitchen automatically means that you are healthy not only you but your entire family so without wasting much time i am straight away going to get into the points that i have thought of discussing with you today so the first thing that you need to analyze in your kitchen so now we have to reorganize um, and make the kitchen a healthy kitchen if it is not it is time for you to evaluate how healthy your kitchen is so first is your tea consumption how much of tea leaves or tea bags caffeine intake is there in your home? How many cups of tea do you have? If it is too much, if you get in a lot of uh, tea leaves, then that is not a sign of a healthy kitchen. The alternative would be herbal drinks or kadhas or herbal teas. That would be the sign of a healthy kitchen. The second point is how much of refined sugar do you use? How much of sugar go goes into that each cup of tea that you have? The more sugar consumption, if you have to keep buying a lot of sugar quite often, again, that is not a sign of a healthy kitchen. If you are someone who likes uh, to have something sweet after a meal, you have healthy alternatives as well like soft, that is fennel seeds or elaichi, you can also opt for dry fruits like figs, apricots and dates. Even further, if you have a really bad sweet uh, craving, then you can have a piece of jaggery or even a piece of dark chocolate. The third point that I would like uh, to mention is how much of packaged food do you have stored up in your kitchen? That includes even the so-called healthy items like um, packaged oats or cereals. Packaged oats in the sense, I mean the flavored ones that come where you just have to mix in water and it's ready to eat. You get these packaged um, dhokla batters also and so many more, you know, ready to eat vegetables, ready to cook vegetables. If you have more of these packaged stuff in your kitchen, it is not healthy. Packaged, um, you know, those um, farsans and namkeens, all of that, is really really unhealthy and that's not the sign of a good kitchen fourth point is how much of dressings and bottled sauces do you have stored up in your kitchen the healthy alternative is you remove some time during the weekend and do a meal prep for the dips and sauces that you like so you can have them throughout the week it's even healthy for children so uh, if you can make a mint coriander chutney, if you can make hummus, it's very simple to make and uh, date tamarind chutney, all these chutneys can be made at home rather than going in for those thick uh, fat based mayonnaise and whatnot. You know what I'm talking about. So all that, the more these bottled sauces are there, the more unhealthy your kitchen is. So opt for these healthier options. The fifth point is how much of frozen food do you have in your kitchen? A lot of frozen items, especially non-veg, um, salami, sausages, chicken nuggets, and all of these are filled with preservatives, nitrates, and high sodium content, which is going to make you sick. So non-veg, make sure it's fresh when you uh, make it and have them twice a week, not more than that. I know there are some who consume non-veg every day, but that is bad for your health. It's not good at all. What you need to consume is more of the greens, the leafy vegetables and um, vegetarian food instead of uh, the meat and non-veg. Sixth point is the utensils that you use. 
if you're using aluminium, you're using, um, uh, you know, non-stick plastic that is really bad for your health. So what you need to use is cast iron, steel, uh, you can use uh, ceramic or clay pots, earthen vessels if you get. That is a healthier um, way that when you cook food, the nutrition gets absorbed into the food, making you even healthy. So these are few simple things. If we start analyzing our kitchen, you can head out to your kitchen right now after you've watched my video and actually gather all these things and see how much of packaged frozen items you have and start making this change. Once you make this change, it's not only you that's going to be healthy, but your entire family. Diet and healthy lifestyle is not about uh, how many hours you put in the gym or how much of walking you do. It's also these small, small things that's going to help you transform and change completely. So that was it for this video, guys. I hope this video was beneficial and start making these changes you will definitely notice the difference. So thank you. Until we meet again, take care and have a nice day and happy new year in advance.